welcome to it's traffic in today's video we are going to do ms excel practical this is for class 6 and 7 level in this video we will learn how we can create a result set here we will have four subjects and we'll collect uh, five student marks after that we'll calculate their total mark percentage and we'll also declare the student whether their pass or fail and also we will do formatting so to do that first we'll write the column names we'll write in the line number three first column will give us roll number so R O double L and O then next column to go to next column we can click on the tab key and this key will get on the left hand side of the keyboard after that we will write name then some subjects name such as English Maths Hindi and computer after that we will write total marks or we can write uh, pass marks mark of 10 these things also we can write but these are not necessary so directly we will write total marks after it we will write percentage then result now you will see the column that contain total mark it's a smaller for the title and even percentage column also and we need name column also little bigger for that we have to adjust the size for adjusting the size for example suppose I want to decrease the size of roll number column so we will go between B and C and we will click and drag a bit this way we can make it small name column will make it little larger than mid's subject column they are fine total marks column will make little larger percentage column will make little larger it's done now we have to write title for that we'll click on column b2 and after it we'll select it after selecting we'll make this columns mars we'll click on margin center so it is now mars you will see all the columns are joined at top here we will write class 6 results 2023 and there if you want to change the style you will click on that particular cell and from font group you can select any type of style whatever you like suppose this one now we will write information roll number 1 2 3 4 and 5 and some names let the name be Ram Sita Raj Priya and John now they are marks and I am giving the marks in out of 100 so the first mark of Ram let it be 88 89 
then 90 and 95 now marks of theta 55 57 59 then 60 Raj marks 34 35 41 45 Priyas mark 65 66 56 70 now John's mark 41 sorry 41 2 then 44 65 31 so these are their marks now we have to calculate it first we have to calculate the total marks for that we will click on the cell total mark and we'll click auto sum so by default it will select you will see the this one line it's selecting the number from 88 to 95 so we no need to do anything here just we'll click enter button so we'll get the total marks here the total mark is 362 now we can copy the formula we'll click here when the we'll click on the right side of the cell at bottom and the cursor will change to plus sign after that we'll just double click and we'll get all the total marks so all the total marks here we'll get and if you want to see the formula you'll click and see all the total marks they are selecting this single line now we have to calculate the percentage for percentage we'll use the formula total uh, mark divided by actually it is mark of 10 this one total mark divided by the all over total marks then into 100 so So we'll click on that this cell. First we'll write equal and we will select the total mark. After that we'll write divide symbol. Now we have four subjects in four subject hundred. Each subject contain full marks as hundred. So full marks will be four hundred. We'll write four hundred and after that again we'll put multiply symbol which is star. We will get this symbol by pressing pressed uh, shift and eight or in number keys you will get this button after that we will write 100 and press enter so this is our percentage 90.5 and to copy this formula click on 90.5 that cell and go to the right hand corner bottom side right hand corner and double click on that corner so all the cells we got the percentage now we'll see some number have two decimal points some number have one decimal points so to remove that you select the number now you go to the number group here we'll get these options increase and decrease the de decimal you will click on the decrease decimal so now all the numbers have just one decimal points now we have to write result there we are going to use if statement so we'll write first equal then we'll write if then break it for that you will press shift and 9 key and after that you will select percentage and you will write greater than equal to suppose our pass pass mark is 50 then we'll write 50 then comma after that little gap then double inverted comma you will write here pass double inverted comma close again comma double inverted comma fail double inverted comma close bracket close so this will be the formula first we'll write equal then if then we'll select percentage column 
then greater than equal to after that pass mark comma then true value means if the student got greater than 50 after that if the student do not get 50 then what we will display that value after that enter so we got the result pass and to copy the formula again we'll go to the corner of the cell when the cursor change into plus sign just we'll double click it so we'll got all the results there are two students failed one student got 38 percent that's why I failed and one student 45 percent for that purpose failed now we'll see uh, now we'll see the formatting part suppose uh, all the column names we want to do in center so we'll select the columns and we'll click on the center line now all the columns names are in center position now let all the number be in center so we'll select the numbers and we'll click on center align now all the numbers are moved to center position now let's change the roll number also into center so we'll select the roll number and click on center so this way we'll do now to put border around uh, the cells we'll select it and we will click here border button and we'll select all borders so bo now border also appears we can change the color from font group let the title be red color and headers means the name of the columns this one we can give any dark color let this color and the information where information contained this one we can give some light color so this our work done this way you can do ms excel practical after creating the practical work you have to save the document for that you will go file button in if you in your school you have office 16 13 or 10 then you will have file tab you will click on the file tab after that you will get one button save you click on that and here you write your name like practical work after that your name x y z and you can also save the folder where you want to save by default it is going to save on document folder or wh whatever folder is selected you can select it and click on save button by this way you can do the practical work thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye